Hello everyone, I'm Jitain sir and in this video I'm going to explain you about cloud computing. First thing that comes to our mind when we think about cloud computing is some server, some computer, some workstations may be installed on the clouds and we are using it as a technology. But it is not the thing. Cloud computing is nothing but using a server or a remote computer which is present at some remote location which is not visible to us. Cloud computing is made up of two words, cloud and computing. Cloud is a metaphor for internet, hence it means computing on the internet. This cloud computing refers to manipulating, configuring and accessing the applications online. It offers online data storage, infrastructure and applications. So if you talk about cloud computing, it has got certain characteristics. For example, on-demand cell service. In cloud computing, multiple clients can share the resources and applications at the same time. As in when the users require the services, they can opt for certain services and resources and it can be used on demand and often bought on a subscription basis. So it does not require any other intervention. Cloud computing offers broad network, broad network access, which simply means that the services can be accessed on the internet anytime and anywhere in the world using multiple devices, such as mobile phones, tablets, laptops, etc. Resource pooling, the resource like virtual server space, network communications, bandwidth, etc. are pooled by multiple users. This means that the same resources same server spaces can be used simultaneously by multiple users. Cloud computing also allows us for rapid elasticity. That means as per our requirement, whenever we want, we can scale up our requirement, our needs. We can scale up or down the resources as per our requirements. And the best part is cloud services allows us on pay for what to use model. That means the whatever we'll use, we will pay for only that service or else we don't have to pay for the data that is not used. Now, if you talk about the different types of cloud, cloud can be categorized into four categories. First one is the public cloud. Public cloud is provision for use by general public. It has no boundaries and the cloud infrastructure can be used by anyone anywhere over the internet. But private cloud is a cloud that is owned and used by single organizations over a private network. It centralizes the resources over organizations so that it can be accessed easily. Hybrid cloud is nothing but a combination of a public cloud and a private cloud. And the last one is the community cloud, it is provisioned for use by a group of consumers from different organizations who share same concerns, that is applications, security requirements, policy, etc. It may be owned, managed and operated by one or more of the organizations in the community or a third party. So these are some of the categories of cloud computing. Next we'll talk about the advantages of cloud computing. The best thing is cloud computing saves our cost because it offers pay per use model. That means whatever we'll use, we'll pay for that only. The unused part will not be paid. Second thing is reliability. As in case of physical storage, if there is a happening of disk failure or something, in that case, the data may be lost. But in cloud computing, since the data is stored in multiple servers at remote locations, so it is reliable so that we can access the data anywhere and using any device like laptop, phone, desktop, etc. And it allows unlimited free storage for different applications depending upon our type of clouds. And accessibility, cloud allows us easy access to cloud-based services and applications through internet-enabled devices like phones, desktop, laptops, etc. Now, there are certain advantages, so there are some disadvantages also because everything has some pros and cons. 
so there are certain disadvantages of cloud computing also like there are some technical issues like in some case due to disk failure or due to device mismanagement sometimes due to network issues some file may not be accessible for a particular moment of time so this thing sometimes happen so this is a part of technical issues if we talk about security although cloud service providers implement best security standards but still if you talk about companies sensitive data information so there is a chance of security breakups so up to some extent the security is at risk the third is vendor lock in although cloud service providers assure that the cloud will be flexible to use and integrate but switching from one service provider to another is not simple because it may lead to portability and support issues and the last one is limited control cloud infrastructure is entirely owned and managed monitored by cloud service providers the consumers have very little control over the application data services etc now we have one example of cloud computing is onedrive onedrive is a free online storage facility offered by microsoft as the name suggests you can use your drive as a storage device and in onedrive we can store our data onedrive offers a free storage of up to 5 gb and beyond that if we require more amount of space in that case we can upgrade our plans taking subscriptions now to access onedrive we need to move on to the browser so i'll take you to the computer browser here so this is onedrive let me take you outside okay this is onedrive microsoft onedrive okay first you need to sign up because if you have a microsoft account that is okay if you don't have a microsoft account in that case you have to sign up once you click on sign up for free you have to enter any email address and if you are already logged in so in that case it will open an interface like this i have a microsoft account so this is my account here it shows my files these are my files over here i have a personal vault you can store your personal information over here you can store documents pictures suppose if you want to upload a new file to this drive so you can click on this upload option upload files if you want to upload any file let's suppose i want to upload this file say hqd default so i'll open this and the file will get uploaded so it is showing uploading one item to my files your files will be uploaded here yes sd default now i can also move this file to some locations like i'll move to pictures so in that case the file will be moved to yes this is the file here now you can see this file has been moved to pictures so this way you can copy paste or you can navigate suppose if you don't want any file you can delete that so for that you can delete your files and all the deleted files will be stored in the recycle bin all the deleted files yes this is the deleted files you can restore it or you can delete it permanently from here if i click on restore button the file will be restored to that particular location so this is basically an interface i just wanted to show you the interface of onedrive how it looks how it works okay there are certain options see as you can see here it is offering 1.12 mb used of 5 gb as i have already mentioned it allows us to use up to 5 gb free of cost and beyond that i can extend up to 1 tb that is thousands of gb of storage by taking the premium option you can sort your files here as per date as per size list view this is the compact views these are different kinds of views here and after completing your work like suppose you want to share your files 
okay this will show you your photos photographs now if i want to share this file okay so i can click on share option and there you need to type any email address where you want to send or simply you can copy the link and this link can be pasted on whatsapp or mail wherever you want like here as a mail if i want to send it send the link so in that case i have to compose a mail and in that part i'll like suppose i'll compose here a mail to which person i want to send and then i'll simply paste it here you can also paste it in whatsapp like here i'll paste it out so this will link so this way you can share your files stored in one drive okay the next thing that we'll discuss is about picasa Picasa is basically a software that offers free program from Google that is used to organize, edit and share digital photographs online. Suppose I want to search for Picasa. I have this setup file here. once i click on this picasa it will install picasa on my system and i'll show you how it works picasa is basically used for editing images you can create collages you can create slide shows you can edit your images increase contrast brightness etc you can edit photos and you can also share it on online platform i'll show you the interface how it works picasa has certain features like it provides a variety of special effects that can be applied to enhance your photos it can be used as a platform to upload and store your digital photographs when you edit your photos it creates a new version of photos and preserves the original copy that means it will not disturb the original file Picasa lets us to create slide shows, photos, collages, videos of our photos. You can also insert musics and create videos. And to download Picasa, it can be downloaded from picasa.com or google.picasa.com. Okay. So once the Picasa is installed, if you want to open it, you will simply click on to this icon there are various versions depending upon what version you are using it will have a different kind of interface like this is an example of picasa this is the interface it opens like this okay so this is the interface of picasa it will show all the images present of in your system like this you can uh, also use Picasa to create your collages, etc., like desktops, <coughs> it will allow us to share your files, print your files, export your files like this. So you can use Picasa for this. See, there are various editing options. You can crop your pictures. You can also increase the contrast. Okay, straighten, red eye, auto contrast, auto color. There are various editing options available. You can go for it. You can also create slide shows using Picasa. So this is all about cloud computing and Picasa and OneDrive. I hope you all have understood the concepts.